only on two, a man with special needs hit and left for dead. It's just kind of hard to know that somebody did that to him. His family no closer to finding out who nearly killed him. Tonight, they're making an emotional plea for help in finding justice. 53-year-old Porcerio Alvarez was out walking along T.C. Jester Boulevard and Allen Street in the Washington Corridor area when he was hit. That was two weeks ago. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Gardner. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. Tonight, Alvarez's family is speaking only with KPRC 2's Gage Golding tonight with hope somebody might have a clue. Gage? Yeah, his name is Porfirio Alvarez, and his family tells me the only thing that he has done wrong in his 53 years of life is believing that there are no bad people out in the world. He has an intellectual disability. One of his favorite things to do is walk these very streets in the neighborhood he lives in and pick up cans to recycle. It's his hobby. He was doing just that the night he was nearly killed. Everybody knows him in the neighborhood. Everybody knows that he collects cans. For Presidio Alvarez, it's his hobby. The extra pocket change he gets from taking his haul to the scrapyard stretches a smile a mile across his face. Most people around these parts help him out, but he doesn't realize that not everyone is this kind. Someone who's autistic, it's very hard to tell him, hey, understand that. On the evening of May 23rd, he found out about the worst kind of person, a person who hit him and left him lying here for dead on T.C. Jester Boulevard. When the vehicle hit him, it threw him 40 feet. A bartender from a nearby restaurant hearing the crash and running out. Alvarez's shopping cart and cans were everywhere. The person who hit him was long gone. If you hear something going everywhere, you would think, you would, wouldn't you want to stop to see what's going on? What did you hit? To make matters worse, his family found out not by a phone call, but by an Apple AirTag tracker. My sister checks the location. It shows us he's at Ben Top. Alvarez is alive. He's still in the hospital with a laundry list of broken bones. The accident leaving doctors with no other choice but to remove a kidney and his spleen. To this day, he's still intubated. And the reality is a recovery isn't promising. It's a long road. If he survives, it's a long road to recovery. We're just asking for anyone that knows any information, or if you did it, just come forward. That's all we ask for justice. They just want justice. The Houston Police Department is investigating this hit and run. Unfortunately, they do not have any concrete evidence at this time to even provide a vehicle description. Investigators and Alvarez's family, they are both asking anybody that saw something, maybe has a neighbor that has some damage to the front of their car, something that just seems weird, pick up the phone and call Crime Stoppers. Some live in the Washington corridor, Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. All right, Gage, thank you. This